Hey, welcome back to my adventure vlog, guys. We're about to embark on yet another cold journey out into the desert. As you can see, it's kind of snowing behind me, and uh, we're about to roll out. We're gonna take the razors down to Tickaboo. It's between Hanksville and Bullfrog, Utah, if any of you guys know where that is. But they have a little resort down there, and they've got some cool trails, and one that's Slot Canyon you can take your machines through. So we're gonna go down there and support them and uh, check it out. So catch you down there. Here we go. So I'm just gonna whip okay. around. Maybe you could do that. The. the we could okay. Do that. I'll I'll the only pull it up. Song I can sing is Ring of Fire. Hold on, we're trying to find something for you real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I turned off the camera and this kid says I'm only going to clean this side, not my side. Yeah. I don't need to see out of that side. I just need to see right here. See, but like I need to see out of this side. Yeah, but that's not my problem. Oh my god. I'm going hot. Okay, so we got to pick what trail to go on and we're not really sure on either one. So we'll just do like teeny me, mighty mo. So eeny, meeny, mighty mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. I did that right, but I mean, it works. So Here we're we go. gonna do Hanson Creek to Indian Benches. It's a more difficult 40.3 miles. How are we feeling, Jack? Doing awesome. Yeah. What do you got over there? Yacht Club? Yeah, Redneck, Redneck Yacht, Yacht Club. Club. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. So being the president of this ride, I have decided to uh, pull over and go on a detour to check out these mines. Oh, damn. 18 clover right here. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means. Up, there's like gas leaks or something. They like just put this oh, yeah. tarp up. And well, they do this for ventilation. So like they have this blocked off and then they'd have a vent shaft or something somewhere and then it would allow the um, fresh air to get in. Because if you don't have it blocked off in certain ways, it won't. And I need a bigger light for in here. Yeah, it it's warm in here. Do you feel that? Like as soon as we came up that hill? Yeah, miners are kind of insane. They just come in here and just like, Dig big ass holes and put some little pieces of wood in here and hope for the best. Huh. <laughs> you could really spend a lot of time exploring all these different mines. Like all the way across this hill, there's probably, I don't know, 15, there's 1,500,000 <laughs> mine shafts. They're 500,000 yards long, 500,000 yards long. <laughs> no, but this one, it's actually looking kind of sketchy. It's got a lot of rock fall, like right off the bat, but it does have that trusty timber really just kind of saving the day there. It's what's really going to hold this up. Yeah. We just need to like come back with more light because like we have um, one Milwaukee light. We have dad's Milwaukee light at the trailer, I think. Mm -hmm. So we got it and then came back. Dude. Because that would be sick. Like 3,000 lumens instead of our phone lights. Yeah. Our phones that barely light up a foot in front of us. Yeah. So we literally went another maybe like 40 feet. We came over the hill and there's like 
a whole bunch of mines right there and then looks like it's deep some that still look a little bit active so probably want to explore those ones oh holy cow <laughs> okay guys we just showed up to hall's creek overlook now this place is freaking so sick look at that yeah look at you can see the trail straight down there oh yeah dude mountain bike down that <laughs> that would be freaking sweet rachel are you down you brought your bike <laughs> This is sick. If you ever want to come down to Tigaboo and ride, I mean, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but this is kind of cool. There's quite a few different trails, different things to explore, and then I don't know. It's just sick. We just rode right from the the resort, so pretty cool. Maybe we're like I don't know, five miles from the resort, from to the Slot Canyon. So come check it out.
Gate. Ha! Gate! You guys can name this. Scott. Hell yeah. I was gonna name it, but I'm gonna let you name it. Yeah, we'll let you guys. Really? Name it. You name if you're not subscribed, hit that button, button right now. Hit the button. Smash because I mean, it. we're just out here vibing. We're recording some good content for yeah. you guys, and it would be cool if you subscribed. Yeah. Like, it would really just help me out. Honestly, I was trying to get a video for you guys, and my whole phone got coded in sand. So I yeah. think that deserves a subscribe. It's yeah, a I mean, nice all phone. you gotta do is what? just. Just click it, you know? Maybe and even just a like, dude. That's all you have yeah, to do. Yeah, you can one do like. just a like. Just hit the ravishing like button. Yeah. Really help us out. Acts like it's my channel. Hey guys, so we made it to the hike. Here we are. Here we are. Can you flip on this? You can't. Okay. Well, we're trying to go down. Here. Hey, how are you guys feeling about the hike? Stoked. Okay. We made it here. Windy, much better weather than yesterday, so good deal. Should I bring all of this down there? Yep. It's got a handle. 2.4 miles. Carry water. Chuck. Mint 400. get a cool super steady shot running down this there's no SD card in it so wow it's impressive yeah so I honestly thought this right here was an arch when you look across the canyon but it's obviously not so we might have to go a little more far so, or we just hike down here to see this it's still kind of cool but yeah it looks like there might be some way to go up here I don't know dude I'm not seeing an arch they might have taken it down. Might have been offensive or something. I ran back down here and I didn't start recording because I didn't know how bad it was, but can you explain what happened? I mean, well, basically what happened is I had my foot on this little hold hill here. I wasn't even climbing. I just had it like right there and I like turned my hips just a little bit to see how I was going to get up. My knee popped out and then back in. It's kind of scary. Like it's the loudest pop I've ever heard in my life. And I was like... Holy shit, dude, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. Like, look at this. How am I gonna get out? Yeah, how are you gonna but get out of there? It it popped itself back in, so like... Oh, that is so gnarly to think so about. Like, okay, so since Rachel's injured, um, we've kind of discussed it, and I'm just gonna go on for a second because we both want to see if there's an arch, and it would be kind of sad if she just popped her knee out just to not even see it, and it's just around the corner. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go try to not pop my knee out on the way up. Okay, so I got up here and it kind of clipped out, but I did see right up there, it looks like a Karen, so I'm going to go for it. Good eye, Brian. Good eye, Brian. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, thank you. That was a Karen. We're back on trail, boys. Okay, we're here. It's actually a double arch. This is super cool. Check that out. Woo! -woo! It's crazy because it's like lush green leaves in here and moss and stuff. When you get out of this canyon, it's just out in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Look at this, you got water dripping down. You can see it kind of coming off of that other archway up there, the second piece. I have returned to our injured friend. Now we're starting the starting the descent down this canyon. This is a problem, it's a little off camber, a little squirrely. So I don't know, the best I can do really is video at this point. Just about to the top of the hill right now and uh, it's pretty windy up there so I'm doing the outro right now. So anyways, if you guys like the content, hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it. Catch you guys next time, peace out.